What is going on, wonderful people? It's Metacosis Perfectionados. Welcome back to my statistics playlist. In the previous videos, we talked about the measures of central tendency, such as the mean, the median, and the mode. We also talked about the range, and we talked about biostatistics, such as sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value, negative predictive value, positive likelihood ratio, negative likelihood ratio, incidence, prevalence, and accuracy. As for today's topic, Topic, we shall compare between quantitative variables, also known as numerical variables, and qualitative variables, otherwise known as categorical variables. Quantitative variables means that you can put a number on them, but with qualitative variables, you cannot. Quantitative variables come in two varieties, continuous and discrete. Similarly, qualitative variables also have two subtypes, ordinal and nominal. And I have 10 questions with answers for you in this video to help you understand this topic fully. Click the like button, click the subscribe button, and let's get started. This is my statistics playlist. Please watch these videos in order for maximum understanding and retention. And please do not confuse the word bimodal with binomial. Variables or data are divided into two main groups, quantitative variables and qualitative variables. These ones care about the quantity, but these ones care about the quality. One, two, three, four, five, five and a half, six, seven and a half, these are quantities. But red, black, blue, green, etc., these are qualities. Quantitative variables are also known as numerical variables, but qualitative variables are known as categorical variables. If you can put a number on them, quantitative. If you cannot, qualitative. So let's have some practice questions. Here's the first question. We're talking about weights. Sarah's weight is 60.2 kilograms. Erica, 63.4 kilograms. Savannah's 69.69 kilograms. What kind of variables are these? Would you call them quantitative variables or numerical? Or would you call them qualitative variables, categorical? Please pause the video and try to answer this yourself. Well, since I can put numbers on them, as you see, therefore these are numerical or quantitative variables. The next question, we're talking about eye color, brown, green, and blue. Would you call these quantitative variables or qualitative variables? And the answer is, these are qualitative variables. I cannot put a number on them. I cannot say that my eye color is 50% uh, brown and 50% green. This is nonsense. So variables are either quantitative variables or qualitative variables. Quantitative variables are also known as numerical, but qualitative variables are known as categorical. If you deal with numbers, quantitative. If you deal with categories or groups, we're talking qualitative. Quantitative variables are divided into continuous variables and discrete variables. Qualitative variables, however, are divided into ordinal variables and nominal variables. What does each one mean? First, let's start with the quantitative variables subtypes. We have continuous, we have discrete. If you can measure it as a sophisticated engineer, then it's continuous. If you can count it as a five-year-old, it is discrete. What do I mean by this? Well, let's say we're talking about the weight of a car. The weight of cars is continuous because the weight of the car could be 1,000 kilograms, for example, or it could be 1,000.25 kilograms, or it could be 1,000.2556 kilograms, or 1,000.25567812, etc., etc., etc. There are unlimited number of possibilities. Between the number 1,000 and the number 1,001, we have an infinite uncountable number of values between the two measurements. That's what makes them continuous. But how many police officers are going to show up to my house on this unfortunate day is a discrete variable because it could be one officer, two officers, three officers, four officers, etc. But it can never be 2.25 officers. It's not going to happen. So we call these discrete or countable variables. Only particular numbers are possible, such as one, two, three, four, 17, but not 17.35567. It's not going to happen here. And that's the difference between continuous, which never stops on how granular you can get, and discrete, which is very particular and countable. 
Next, we'll talk about qualitative or categorical variables. These are labels. These are names, not numbers. We divide them into ordinal and nominal. Ordinal means ordered categories. Nominal means name. That's what nominal means, just names. For example, I'm going to divide people into two groups, males and females. Oh, these are two names for two categories, making them nominal variables. Or we have Manchester United fans and Manchester City fans. So these are two categories. They are categories and they are named categories. We cannot order them. We cannot say that Manchester United fans are better than Manchester City fans because these are all people that have nothing better to do with their lives. And I say so as a former Manchester United fans before they broke my heart. Now I teach cardiac pathology, e.g. broken heart syndrome. Next, we have ordinal categories or ordinal variables. These are ordered categories. For example, we have novice chess player, and then we have intermediate chess player, and then we have advanced chess player. There is an order for these categories. But born in Greece versus born in Egypt, that's nominal. There is no order there. If you wish to download these doozy colorful notes, go to medicosisperfectionandis.com. I help you learn, understand, and pass exams. Let's practice some more. Example, Sam's annual income is 20,500. Adam's annual income is $21,627.35. Raj's annual income is 23,143.70. First question, would you consider these examples of quantitative variables or qualitative variables? And the second question is, would you consider them A, continuous, B, ordinal, C, discrete, or D, nominal variables? Please pause the video and answer these two questions. Let's start with the first one. Quantitative or qualitative? Well, these are numbers. I can put a number on your income by definition. So this is quantitative or numerical. If it's numerical, then it cannot be ordinal or nominal. It has to be either continuous or discrete. All right. Is it continuous or discrete? Since you can get granular as much as you can, I'm going to call this continuous. Now, is it possible in another scenario to make income something categorical? The answer is yes. For example, when the treasury of the government says that low-income people are going to pay 5% of their income in tax. Intermediate income people will pay, let's say, 10% in tax, and high-income people will pay 20% tax. And then low-income has a definition. There is another definition for moderate income and a third definition for high income. These are three categories. So in this particular case, income will be categorical. And that's why you really need to stop and think and not just react like the typical Manchester United fan. Next, we had 200 students and then we divided them into two groups, females and males. First question, would you consider this quantitative variables or qualitative variables? And the second question is, are these variables continuous, ordinal, discrete, or nominal? Pause the video. Okay, quantitative versus qualitative. These are two categories, so of course qualitative. Can you make them ordered? Can you put something above something above something? No, these are just two distinct categories, two different names of the categories, so these are nominal. Next, income groups. Sam's annual income, low. Adam's, moderate. Ahmed's, high. Quantitative versus qualitative. What do you think? Well, I cannot put a number on them here. These are just three different categories. So categorical or qualitative. Since they are categorical or qualitative, they can neither be continuous nor discrete. They have to be ordinal or nominal. Okay, nominal means just three different categories. That's it. But ordinal means that they are three categories, but they have an order. Do these have an order? Yes, there is low, there is moderate, there is high. These are ordinal variables because they can be ordered from the least to the most. Next, age groups. We divided the population into the young, the middle-aged, and the old. Is this quantitative or qualitative? What do you think? Well, these are not numbered, so I'm gonna say qualitative or categorical variables. Next question. Since they are qualitative, do you think they are ordinal or nominal? These are ordinal because they are ordered, as you see. Next, eye color. We have brown, we have green, we have blue. Quantitative or qualitative? What do you think? These are qualitative variables. Can you order them? No, I cannot, so therefore nominal. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please drop an eye emoji in the comments.
Next, marital status. Single versus married versus widowed. Qualitative or quantitative, what do you think? Well, these are categories, so qualitative. Can you order them? No, I cannot. These are nominal. Next, number of guests that will show up to my party. Quantitative or qualitative? Well, I can count them. It could be one person, two persons, three, five, ten, twelve, etc. So these are numbers, so quantitative variables. Continuous or discrete? Well, I cannot have 2.5 visitors. They have to be actual numbers, so these are discrete. It could be one, it could be two, it could be seven, etc. But not 17.3522. Again, variables or data are quantitative or qualitative. Quantitative variables are numerical. Qualitative ones are categorical. I'm dealing with numbers. I'm dealing with names or labels. Quantitative variables could be continuous, very granular, infinite number of possibilities between any two measurements, discrete, very particular. The qualitative variables or categorical could be ordinal. These are order categories or categories that have orders or nominal, which are just names for the categories and they cannot be ordered. And one more question. Which of the following is an example of a numerical variable? Choose all that apply. You are allowed to pick more than one option. Let me know your answer in the comments. You'll find the answer key in the next video in this statistics playlist. If you value what I do, help me make more videos by supporting the channel. Go to buymeacoffee.com slash medicosis. There are more than 600 premium videos available on this channel when you click the join button and choose the highest tier. Please subscribe, hit the bell, smash like, support my channel on Patreon, PayPal, or Venmo, go to my website to download my courses, notes, and cases, or if you would like me to personally tutor you. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine, chemistry, math, and physics make perfect sense.